Hi. <laughs> All right. Let's see how we're doing. Um, how's everyone doing? I am doing pretty fine myself. Uh, <laughs> it's more, well. So after the stream today, uh, primarily because I have something on e e e in the evening that will occupy what I planned to originally planned to be stream time. But no, uh, yeah, it's been moved to uh, 4 p.m. Central European time. Yeah, I don't think I can uh, keep up with uh, night streams, things like that, you know. Uh, yeah, there's like a whole bunch of work I need to catch up on and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm like about eight, nine lectures behind now. So, a bit yikes. Uh, definitely uh, gotta sacrifice some stream time to actually, uh, you know, catch up on work. You know, priority setting and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that means no more Tuesday streams for the time being. And yeah, I'll probably stream only on weekends. Uh, so yeah, anyway, where we left off from last night, um, we are about 12 and a half hours in. Uh, you know, we were at like this zoo palace thing, which is weird and all. You know, considering that uh, that was 12,000 BC. And yeah. This is where we left off. Um, so hopefully I don't screw up this time. Uh, I will not repeat. I will not repeat the mistakes uh, from last Sunday. And yeah, join me on episode 7. Or Chrono Trigger. Let's go. So where we left off, um, we have like a bunch of uh, you know, we have like this weird thing that can allow us to. You know, open up this stuff that is locked behind some sort of strange, mysterious energy thing. So we managed to break through the door, and this is where we are at. Uh, what is this? Who am I? How did I get in here? Um, I just got a key code. We are foreigners from a different time period. I. What are you? Oh, that's a weird looking golem. Should I just use a uh, ice? Oh, gosh. That is a brutal amount of damage. Let's see if we can use life. Never mind. That is still a brutal amount of damage though. It's like by far one of the more more difficult battles I've ever got. Dude, look at Chrono and his crit rate. Oh never mind.
Yeah, I'm not sure how we actually defeat that. Okay. This is the fourth time we died, but this is the first time it doesn't really like send us, you know, back to our previous save point. Interesting. You won't die immediately, that is. But by the time we are through with you, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. What a delicious diversion. Where are we gonna go? Why is that red thing there from like last time, you know? The last time we were in 65 million BC. The goose. So, is the queen like supposedly like opposed by the gurus uh, in this uh, time period? And Melchior. Melchior is the one from 600 AD. He's been alive for more than 12,000 years. Are you kidding me? Who are you? Prophet. Now you see, you have like this pendant that gives me this time thing, right? And we can travel to different time periods. Look, you brought us there, we can just press the A button and we'll send ourselves over. You can just, you can, we, you can see ourselves out, alright? <coughs> Bye. Now that's how you seal it with the Deoxys thing. It just reminds me of the thing in the uh, Pokemon Emerald. Now we'll break ourselves in there. Yeah, it was in the future. The, the, fir the very first time we saw that, you know, there's like this chest that's like sealed by mysterious energy. There's this, there's this type of door. <coughs> oh gosh, my throat is really ticklish. <clears throat> oh gosh. So, um... Oh. Oh, they sealed both ends of it. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Uh... You know what we'll do? Uh, let's heal up here. What? What do you mean no more sweet water? Ah. Okay, fine. We are trying oh, uh, not to get ourselves in trouble. Okay, the strange part is the two groups of enemies, mobs, I would say, are like no longer there, so I'm just a bit weirded out. Alright, let's restore. 
break the seal. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, so what is going on? You've been needing something that will transport you to, to time. The wings of time. Right. Okay. So, there are like a bunch of chests that I remember, right? Which I couldn't uh, go before. So... I really want to like try using the pendants to break those uh, seals and stuff like that. There has to be some in this uh, time period. But I don't think we'll get much. But if they are important, uh... I would actually go do the trouble just to get them. So the one I remember most is the one in Gallia Forest that leads us up to uh I can find it. Oh that's a power tap. Power taps are okay. You know what? I'm not gonna, you know talk smack about it. Okay, there's no stuff that's sealed here. I think it's up here, right? No, that's like dead bushes. Interesting. Maybe it's up here? Yeah, you know what, let's just raid the place for our newly accessible loot. I remember there was like one chest in uh, Gallia Castle, which which still has like this sealed chest. But I just can't remember in which time period this one is. Probably 600 AD, but I can't be too certain. Okay, there are no sealed chests here. Nope. This is locked using an ancient technique known as a key. A lock and key. I don't think I'll be getting this uh, anytime soon. <laughs> Maybe uh, the King's Tower? Alright, there we go. Open it up, what do we get? Level up for the Red Vest. Red Mill. You know, let's see what we... Ooh. Absorbs fire hits. That's pretty nifty. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty nifty. Let's do this. Maybe just me or like I less running uh animation makes me it just reminds me of like a lion or a leopard. Yeah that's just that that is just what it reminds me of. Okay, I think we've pretty much read at this place. So I remember the, the other one that we have is somewhere 
dang it, down below in the same time era. I'm just trying to recall where they are. So from what we have, um, it just it just sounds it just seems like these things are quite powerful. So what I want to do is to try to find them all. So what I want to do is I'm going to jump in. Can I jump in? I can't jump in. Okay, we are going to Hecran Cave because I remember there were like a couple of chests in there. The only issue is if I can reach there by myself. Like Medina Village has a bunch of sealed chests if I remember correctly. I'm not sure about Pori. Uh Is there anything that leads us around? Residence? Let's check it out, I guess. No chess. Um, snail stop market. Pori in. There's no. There, I don't think there are any items in there. Mayor's Manor. Oh, there we go. What do we got? White vest, black vest, Okay, how do I get to Medina? I will need to get to Medina. I think I think a more I think a wiser choice here will be to get to six hundred eighty first. Hmm. Is this six hundred eighty? No, that's sixty five million. Nope. This a thousand. We'll go there later. Choose Kenya six hundred. Let's let's do this. And then we'll raid this place for chess. And this. Yes, the weird. What? Oh, oh, you guys. 
Hello. I just want to collect my little power tap. Wait, what? No. There's a trap. Dang it. I think it was this era that had the sealed chest. Okay, we got a speed tap. And then we'll sweep these uh, quarters again. Hello, how are you doing? Um, we are trying to like find all these sealed chests that contain some really decent armor. But I just can't remember like where we encountered all of them. So someone told me that uh, some of these chests can be upgraded, but I'm. I'm just really close on how it works, so I don't think I will get that on the first try. Is this one? Hello? So, we've got red vests. Uh, oh, we got red nail now. Okay, um, so... The difference between a red vest and a red mail is that the vest offer less protection but it absorbs less elemental damage. Okay. That's interesting to learn about. Um yeah. Have you have you I'm I'm curious, have you actually played Chrono Trigger before, I really hope I'm not like spoiling anything for you uh, if you do intend to play. What is this chest? Ether. Yeah, cause there's like a lot of time periods I'm actually gonna go to today. So yeah, there's uh, 600, 1000, 2300, uh, 65 million PC and stuff like that. I don't know, it's just a whole bunch of uh, time periods, you know. Ah, that's nice. I'm trying to collect the items from the suit chest, I'm just trying to recall uh, which ones have which? 600. We've done the ones at Guardia Castle in the forest. Uh, was there one in Megasus thing? Okay. Oh, I see. Elder's house. So, so there's some. So for some reason, I'll get like. Oh, if you do you want, there's like something reacting here, and stuff like that. Right. Uh, from my understanding. Uh, what is that? Oh yeah, I've been here before. Wait a minute. Sunken desert. Okay, there's something new. I'm, I'm not sure if I've actually been there before. I highly doubt it.
so I will decline this one. Right? Mm. I may have uh um I might have I might have screwed up a bit. This is hundred percent of black vest, isn't it? Oh gosh. Should I just try opening it nonetheless? I know I've screwed up for this part, the, sh the white and black vest and stuff like that. You know what? It's irreversible now, let's just do it. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't think, yeah I, yeah, I did the one in 1080 first, so, oh gosh, a bit messed up, how do I die? Can I resume from an old save? Don't say yes to opening any chest before. Okay. I really want to backtrack to my previous save. Because I think I've. Yeah, I think I screwed up some of them when I first decided to go to 1080. But yeah, thanks. Um. Okay, let's see if I can resume from my old save because I really want to. Because I think I started off from the wrong time period. I started from like a thousand because that is where I think I had the strongest memory of. Yeah, so let's see. Let's do this from an old save. No, what? This is. Erase this. No, this is saving points. Uh, no, I don't want to erase my old save. I want to resume from this. How do I. Am I that stupid? I think I'm that stupid. Uh, restart the game to go there. We'll see. All right, we'll do this. Oops. Anyway, I don't think we'll like lose much because, uh, we just came from the, uh, golden fight. So yeah, uh, I decided to lose because this guy was like dealing a whole bunch of damage that I knew I was not gonna uh, survive. So, okay, I think what I'll do first is Medina and find all of the relevant non-upgradable -like stuff first. Uh, so I, so now, now I know that the vest and stuff like that, they are upgradable. Vest and mail stuff, they are the upgradable ones. I think there are a whole bunch in Medina that do not have these upgradable things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll be heading to, to the Middle Ages from Choose Canyon after I get the stuff from uh, 1000 the present in Medina because I'm too lazy to go to like Hagrid's cave and stuff like that like, uh, 
uh, again and stuff. Okay, this is something that we've been before. Oh yeah, uh, I'll be checking that one out, like while, while I'm here, so yeah. Treasure of the Guru of Wisdom. To the right is a weapon that increases strength. To the left is a protective gear that will guard my life. Choose whichever I need and take it with me. So... So which one do we get? <laughs> The weapon for Chrono, yeah, and I heard it's a good one. Is it a good one? I know the helmet is like for anyone, but I'm not sure if you could like get them at any other time point. Doesn't really matter what I get. Uh, right. So, hmm. The swallow. Is that the name of the sword? Let's open this one. Safe helm. Uh. Physical damage by a third. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so Medina Forest, you're saying? If I knew how to get there. <laughs> um. Melchior Hecken Cave. I think this is the one that I was looking for. There are like a whole there were like a bunch of chests that were sealed here. I don't think there's a place called Me Medina Forest. It's I only heard of like Gaudia Forest. Oh, I see. Yeah. I was just like, okay, let's go to this Deoxys looking thing. Like, the one thing that it reminded me of was uh, that time Pokemon Emerald. And you had like this event thing where people, where, you, where, where there's like this pyramid that you could like move around and stuff and interact. I think it's kinda cool. Wall ring. What is this? Dash ring. Alright. Let's see what we have in Hecron's lair. Nothing else. Is that all?
I think that is all. All right. So I think our thousand eighty is done for now. We'll go to six hundred. Right, and do the decline things. So, decline to open. Why does it seem so scared for dashing? I don't know. People are scared of running, I guess. Uh, or is it like, oh hey, we were not expecting to get like a freebie alongside. Right. <laughs> Now I'll be honest, I've no idea how to use any of those accessories. Why is Chrono stunned? I'm not sure about the dash ring. Dash ring sounds like it increases your haste speed. So you can attack faster or something? I guess. Okay, Guardia Forest. Yeah, we'll heat up to get to decline uh the the thing. Uh if I remember correctly it's up uh here. Yeah, I'll definitely check them out. Okay, so this decline and run. So I think this is all we have to do, right? Check what the ring rings do. What do they do? Magic defense plus ten, speed plus three. The wall sounds like a good one. I feel like the dash ring is like something that they decide to join after the fact. But yeah, I can't blame that. You know. What do you have here? Speed tab. Okay, so our next destination will be further down south. So I think this is where we screwed up last time. So these are the chests that we should decline. This as well. No, okay. Then I'll exit. And uh, where else do we have? I think there was like one in Mangus lair or something if i remember correctly i forgot where his thing is where is your lair like do you have an address a street address i can navigate to this one sounds like it Is this one? Magic ring? Oh. Wait, where was the flash of animation? Yeah, permanent stat upgrades. 
I have to tell you something. I have um, a couple of regrets because I have not be using these tabs at all. Um, because I'm not sure who to use them on. Right, so I have like 4, 4 and... What's, what does the Lapis do? 200 for all. I don't think I'm using that. And the speed tab. Plus one. Yeah, I'm just not sure uh, who to use them on. So, yeah. Okay, so we got the magic ring. Okay, we just need to hit to one final location in 600. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Uh, the issue is if I can find it. This one. No. Hey! No, 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 do not take it. Yeah, the only issue about using tabs is that I'm not sure who to use it on. Not so much about, oh, I'm, if this is temporary or not. I just have a hard time figuring it out. Speed tabs on Chrono. Max speed. What's his maximum speed, anyway? Let's do this. So all of them? Two stars. Oh, like, <laughs> okay, so they just abandon the number system and go for the star. Interesting. His base speed is 12, so... Oh, I see. Okay. We are going to lean square, I think. Yeah. To get the upgraded items. Where is that? It's two stars. It is max. Wow. So we've essentially helped Chrono achieve maximum speed. Let's see who else we can get maximum maximum uh, stuff on. Do we use magic tabs on Mal? I kind of like Mal though. It's like your friendly neighborhood medic. Of royal blood. Okay. Uh, upgrade it for us. Uh, is this supposed to happen? Is this supposed to happen? I did decline. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got... Okay, I'm just gonna make sure. We got a red mail. Okay, cool. <laughs> More speed tips use them on Isla. Yeah, I kind of like Isla as well. It's like... She's an absolute tank. Okay, so... 
We need to go down south. No, wait, choose in first. Why do I keep look forgetting about that location? Why do I keep get entering battles with this Hitake? And what do I do to Chrono that make him that made him glow? Is this a sign of anything or not? Yeah, I was thinking about like that for Mal. You know, I just use all those. Like investing in. Yeah, I was thinking about investing all of them in Mal as well. Uh, the magic tabs. Definitely need her healing. Okay, what do we get? Blue vest powers up. From blue mail. Also known as FedEx. It reduces. Oh, I see. So it's like. So it's just a visual thing that shows that buff. Alright. So. This one is here. Uh, if I can find it. Here. Receive white mail and UPS blackmail. No wait, no that's not yes, that's I'm pretty sure blackmail is illegal. Okay, so we've got all of, I think all of the stuff from the present. I'm just gonna make sure. So we've got white, black Red and blue. I don't think I'll be going back in the past to get. Uh, wait, should I get go back in the past to like get their vest equivalents? I don't know. I'm thinking about getting the vest equivalents, but I'm not sure if I should do that. Ah, oh, that's cool. I feel like at this point, like yeah, the speed part is getting more important. Okay, so should I go back into the past to get the vest? That is what I'm thinking about. Wait, I'm I'm just gonna save because that is the part where I like actually not screw up. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to future then. Proto Dome twenty three hundred. If I open Banger Dome, I don't think I have.
I might have not opened a couple of time gates. But I can't be too sure. There's a pendant door in the place. So it is it's gonna be in one of these domes, I believe. Yeah, it was that uh, exit. I think I, I, th I think I know what you mean. Aries Dome. How have I not got a race log? Okay, that's interesting. Honestly, I just like like fighting these guys. So yeah, the transport part didn't really bother me. But the car was fussing though. Let's see, this is the seal access. Areas though. So this is the one that was the there's a door and stuff. To get to bang go to Ares. Right. This is what you get for being so clustered together. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to Ares. You know what, I'll save here. Because I don't want to risk losing my save. Okay. So, 
Call it L R and E. Oh yeah, we did that thing already. Oh gosh. I just don't want to fight these guys, they're like annoying, so. And they're way beyond my level. In a negative, uh, in a, you know, in a comparative sense. I mean, they're way lower than my level. Wait a minute, is this thing? Uh, is pass is still excess? Yeah. Okay. So at least we got, like, so at least we now know where to go. Come on. Oh, yeah, be centered. Open sesame. What do we have? Lumin Rope Elixir Hit Ring Go Earn Power Tap What is this? Oh, it just opens that thing up. Okay, cool. Not much. Is is that right for this part? It seems like it. It seems like it for this uh, part. Of the of the dome. Uh so now we need to Mm. Bangor Dome? I heard there's like more. Yeah. Okay. No, don't shake your head. There we go. Uh, now I can shake my head because I lost my not uh forgot my way out. Yeah, I remember the sewer access as like a whole bunch of stuff, right? I forgot what lies beyond there, beyond that 16. Um, there should be other domes that I can explore. Oh my gosh, what was that? Oh, I, but I don't like getting the rooms. So, yeah. End of time to the gate in the forest. Uh, it's in 600, right? Was it? I think it was 600. I just can't remember. And like, I think I'm taking it a long way there. Was it 600 or 1000 AD? Where that is? Because right now, uh, the one in 1080 is sealed up. So I don't think I can go there. Yeah, I have to look for that place again. <laughs> I 
because I because if I remember if I remember correctly, uh, there was a part where we were like escape, escaping like uh, the guys and we jumped into this time gate. I don't think it opened for me though, which is a bit weird. No, why don't you move, like, for a family photo? Care about tonics. I just don't want to battle these things. Obviously, a smart answer would have been to use a time gate, but it was sealed. Right. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was sealed somehow. So... So I was like, ah, screw it. I'm, I'm just gonna like, take the long way round. But the issue is, um, that gate was behind some... I know... I don't really care about tonics being stolen from me because I could just heal up with magic. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a puny amount of damage. There we go. Honestly, I prefer the volcanoes to these craters because... <laughs> for obvious reasons. Bang on the this one. What do we have? Charm top, full ether, wallet. What else do you have? Trendome. What do you have in Trendome? Yeah, I use them more often for like healing, so I didn't actually see a need to use power taps on her. Ghost up and full ether. <coughs> hmm. Past Banger Dome Gate. Alright, let's head back in there. This one.
should be a way huh? uh oh oh it opened up a new one for me okay cool so we need two more to open which is the which is the 12,000 BC ones, I think. Power ring. I swear, this is like the only use for this portal. I love it. Alright, so I think we got mo most if not all of the sealed chests. Max HP up by 50%. Turns experience into gold. MPU's cut by. Ooh. Powering. I will use. I'm not sure if this actually works on Mal. Yeah, I think, yeah, that should be it. I'm fairly certain. Magic plus six. You know, I'm just tempted to like, just beef him up. All the way to 700 HP. And become like a really powerful PC. Charm power up. What's what is what is charm? Oh, uh, we could actually use a dash ring on Isla. Yeah, there you go. Max speed. Isla's max speed. Okay. Uh, I think we can move on with the story. Uh, I think this is a really important side quest to do. So, um... I think what I need to do is to go to the seal access. Yeah, we have to go to the seal access. I can't... I didn't clear that part, unfortunately. I it's I, I, I think it's more of like I forgot how to how to clear that part rather than like oh I don't wanna clear that part. Sure, it tells me. Ah. I wish it was something more of like oh F zero rather than like this. I think we like so much nicer if it's an if it's an F zero type of racer. There we go. <laughs> but then, again, but then again, track race. Those are cool. All right. Okay, sewer access. Uh, so I'm I'm just really not sure what we should do here. 
Like, I've opened like a bunch of chests, right? But it doesn't, it didn't seem that I have like other stuff to interact with. There was this one. Which didn't lead me anywhere. Yo, that sounds really cool. Okay, but uh, we've got a little mission on our hands is to... How to use this? What do we do? Open... Okay, the door opened somehow. Can I... There we go. Press the switch and the bridge opens. A bit too short. Just jump. Oh gosh. I will definitely keep the charm tap thing in mind. Reach band. So, what are you doing? You're a massive caterpillar. They're called capsules. Cool. Oh, I didn't know that Crowley is a boss. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that Crowley is a boss way early in the game. Oh, because I was too stupid to notice there was a switch. I think tabs are like... They sound way cooler. Definitely. These new reads remind me of Takuyaki. <laughs> For some reason. Yeah, I didn't remember there were like some sort of name changes in between the original Super Nintendo versions and the subsequent versions. For some reason. I don't need the bolt sword. Death Peak. Keeper's Dome. Oh, hello. You've been sleeping for like, I don't know, 14,000 years at least. If only I could find a, if only I could find a way to get down. There we go. Hello, scratchy scratchy. Can we scratch that guy's back? <laughs> oh. All right, what do we have here? Belthalsa. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Lavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned away from a mighty, by a mighty wizard who lived in Gardia. In 1999, he claims this area and rings on high atop Death Peak. He continues to replicate like a giant parasite. He's consuming our world. Forced to live here, I continue to conduct research on novels. 
Uh, have you tried the cloud? <laughs> Only by massing time itself do you have a chance against Lavos. The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. The world is in your hands. A lost invention. A wings of time. Let's do this. Yo, this is a sick ride. I don't know. Oh yeah, there has to be like some sort of uh, localization thing between Japanese and English. So I think it's quite cool. Y button for the time gauge. They use the L and R buttons to select an error. Oh gosh. Why don't I sleep? Oh, name your time machine. Epoch sounds like, sounds like a good name. Alright, uh, hold on. I want to see if I got all the items here. This one. There we go. I think that was it. Yeah, the rest are like his messages and stuff like that. Alright, let's uh, go. Set off. I don't have a pilot's license, so I'm not sure how you how you could uh, operate this. Take off. Uh. Where do you go? Dark ages. Yeah, I can't even mention like the amount of workload. There's like a whole bunch of dialogue as well. Look, we need to get the 88, 88, 88 gigawatts. No, that's not. That's not right. Okay, cave. Okay, it's been sealed. What do you have? I know there's like there's like only one village over here, Terra Cave. Uh Oh hello El Getty The village of the Earthbound one, so have you found your favorite Starman yet? Oh so you're like the muggles in Harry Potter. Go to the end of time, pass the future on that time wheel thing. Oh. Oh, we've got the. Uh, oh, yeah, the guy was saying something about the end of the uh, wings of time. Yeah, we should definitely, like, bring his right there. I'm guessing where. I'm guessing, like, the, 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 the dock is where that thing parks at. Right? You better park it at pier. Ah. All right. Well, we are still on break the seal. We have seven of nine 
gates available to us. Okay, so it's like infinite. Yeah, to be fair, Dark Ages just, it sounds more close to like 600 AD. I think our timeline, uh, 12,000 BC just sounds like Ice Age, which is this. Okay, so we got the Earthbound ones. Yeah, I think Antiquity sounds like a really nice name for it. Alright, what do you sell? Wanna buy something? These are so expensive. Oh, uh, what do I get you? A Lumin Rope has plus 5 magic defense. Flash Mail has no additional effects. We have one Lumin Rope currently, so I think I'll get one of this. Comet Arrow, let's do this. And then we'll try to like, wait, no we can sell our stuff. Hold on a sec. Um, uh, yes, I want to buy, no, I want to reverse buy something. Robin Bow, Beret, Katana. Load Sword. Iron Blade. Bronze Edge. Air Gun. This. 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 This, 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 this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been like learning German for a bit now, and I kind of like understand this logic. Uh, so to buy in German is called Kaufen, and to sell in German is called Verkaufen, which literally means for buy. <laughs> so yeah, I can actually understand this now. That's like this logic. It's like okay, I want you to buy some. Uh, right. I think we need the rest. Alright, we did a lot of buying and we made him do a lot of buying as well. I think we pretty much even out on stuff. Okay, let's see if, what these muggles do. Ron Weasley? Where ya? I forgot if this game like came out after or before Earthbound because it's so weird having this Earthbound in their name. Yeah, I know I have a magic tab that I found uh, when I was using the thing.
Both of them. Can I organize? There we go. <laughs> that was a. <laughs> I had a. I have. I've been using a lot of. Uh, yeah, I've not been uh, doing a bit of. Uh, I've not been doing any sort of inventory management at all. Beach nest is dangerous. That sign won't stop me because I can read. Could you imagine if like. Uh, Cause you imagine if, like Earthbound Four, Earthbound Four was like the enlightened. Is it's like enlightened. No, Mother Four, is like enlightened. So you have like Earthbound Origins or like Mother One, Earthbound, uh, Mother Three, and then there's like the enlightened. <laughs> Just for fun. Through the nest you reach the place of chains, which anchors the mountain of woe. Woe. Alright. We've got power tech. What do we have here? Bees. So like normal bees. Not the Mr. Beast, Dr. Beast or anything, just beast. Damn, you guys really bite your energy. Yeah, it's a very original name. I. <laughs> oh gosh. Even Mr. Beast. Original username isn't like that original. It's like Mr. B six thousand, which implies that they are like at least five thousand nine hundred ninety nine before him, and probably an infinite amount after. What is this? Can we do anything? That looks like a living organism. I'm just saying. Oh, there's more bees. Hi, beast. Oh yeah, was this where like I should be using the charm thing? I feel like it is, but I really don't know. Hold on a sec, I should really try to... There's root. Yeah, this was like what you said the next dungeon was, right? So, yeah, I should definitely try to get the charm uh, thing on. That's. Uh... Let's do this. Charm top. Wait a sec. 
Okay. This isn't a dungeon. Oops. So, how screwed am I? Stop writing your things! I see. Have I awakened a beast? Okay, I shall focus attack on like one of them. Yeah, I should definitely focus on one of them. And then try to keep the recovery tempo up. One fifty. All right, you still at a loss of like a thousand. So we could just like grind you down. Wait, is it worth using a dual skill after this? Uh Well, that was rude. Okay, we could aura well this. I don't know. Chrono has like 700 max HP, so I'm just like, he has a lot to tank. Um, okay, let's go for double. Vote bite. I wonder if it works though. Let's see. 782. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, this mud in pretending he's got like equestrian skills on him. Seven seventy. I think I'll. Uh, I think I'll recover this cycle. Or uh, this turn. Yeah, we definitely need. We definitely need to get Miles' HP up. As soon as he stops doing this kind of madness. Why? Falcon hit for Chrono and Ayla. I am not sure. I'm gonna have to look it up. Yo, I'm prepared to attack. Come on. Come on now. I got a Falcon hit. Yeah, I got a Falcon hit.
Shall I give it a whirl and how powerful it is? I think it's a I think it's a really nice uh you know ring to it. Okay, let's try Falcon Head. But that's like all three. I'm not sure if that's supposed to uh yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think I unlocked it. Uh... When was it? I forgot when I unlocked it. <laughs> I really want to focus on this guy first. There we go. So at least there's like one of these guys to deal with. I actually don't get how the Martin has like an insanely high amount of defense. Like, you see the Martin and you like compare him to like... You know, the green imp and like purple imps. And you know what I mean. Like, what kind of clothes does this guy have? The mud imp. He's got like some sick drip. Falcon Strike. So. Is it because it can't like actually do physical damage? Okay, I'm gonna heal. Never mind. Wake up. We got. Did you just kill your. <laughs> Did you just kill your guy? Okay, what do I do on. What do I do to this guy? Lightning. One ten. All right. <laughs> that sounds like a nice way to cheese it, though. 700 HP of damage sounds ludicrous
Alright, so, uh, can I go back and save? What is that? Uh, I really don't want to screw this up. There should be a save, I, uh, there should be a save point. There should be a save point. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna head back where I came from. And then use a save point. The grew on Mount Woe. I keep forgetting that the game isn't like. <laughs> Nice enough to heal you after every single boss fight. Let's look for the inn. Where the bits at? No, this is not your bit. Yeah, uh, I just decided to like, you know, do a little bit of elimination. Because why not? <laughs> and also like not doing anything for like a couple of turns is boring. I'm just like, huh, what if I... Um, you know, oh, what what if I use like rock to right at the very start and just like get just got that guy out? I think we've like ended the battle like much sooner or something. All right, so we are in in this mount wall. And oh, we've got Bantam Imps. Which becomes Stone Imps. Okay, so you got to... Oh gosh. So you gotta like gut the bird first and then gut the imp. Damn the HP train is slow. It's slower than I thought. Do you have anything here? Chest. Load hell. No, I gotta save hell. Sell top. Load hell. 116. Alright. Get a load of this. So, it re so HP down, the Crimson Rain thing only re reduces HP by like 1 per second, so... 1 per second of uh, recharge time. So it's not really that dangerous compared to like, I don't know, Megas? Uh, 
Alright, what do you have here? What are you? Gargoyle. Oh. And you have like less than 270 HP. Well, let's do this. Look at that save point. There's be some sick items over here. And there's one right there. I have no idea where I'm going. I should definitely do a more uh, thorough sweep of this area. When I get the chance to. One lapis. Is this all? It can't be all for this one singular area. What well, are some parts to the west? Okay. Hello. Oh, 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 you've got your you've got more friends. Okay, my estimate is uh, this guy has like 260 HP. Okay, so these guys are so easy to take down. Got it. I think it's more of an annoyance that they are here but then again we are the ones who are infiltrating on their territory okay it's just a dead end i think yeah all right so we've got this rock out and the upper one. I'm not sure which one to take. I'm just gonna explore. If we get more items, then that's a good thing. I guess. So yeah. Now I see how you are a threat. I understand now. Oh my gosh, can't go at this stage. It's alright, just sleep. We'll handle this in a very amicable way of, uh, you know, just simple sword slashes and. Yeah. Cure too. This oh heal Eli to full health. Ooh, I see how this could be useful. Two five one. Interesting. Okay, one cure is more than enough. So yeah, got load vest. One shield. What does a shield do?
What is a shield? Um, so I'm just gonna... What is that? Power tap. A shield cuts physical hits by a third. Okay. So it can only be used in battle, I presume. Can't be equipped. Just combat. Okay, so... At least we're getting a lot of items that we need. So yeah, I'm not mad. Anything today. Alright, what do you have here? Oh, friends! There we go. Get rid of these gargoyles that can do their little 1 HP trick. I I don't know what is that Pokemon move where you like could bring them down to 1 HP. It's like Focus Sash Endeavor or something like that. Okay, we have nothing down there. Nothing around here. Uh, friends? I already got friends. Look, I don't care about you... Bantams... Trying to... Do whatever things. Pack. My only concern in now is like the gargoyles. With the ability to reduce my HP to 1 and then use this HP down to Crimson Rain to like, you know, finish them off. I think that's my main concern. And interestingly, the effects of uh, Crimson Rain don't stack. So they don't go down twice as fast, or twice the damage does not get dealt per second. Which is kind of interesting, I would say. Alright, what do you have here? Friends? That's a lot of friends. Look at that crit 312. What was that? You just throw a water thing at me? I have no idea what that is. I'm not concerned, but uh, just a bit suspicious of what that thing could possibly be. If it's an elemental type damage, I would get the thing up for absorption oh yeah uh do these guys do anything i'm just gonna test one out and see it's just a rubble You're just a rock. Just <laughs> succumb. 
Oh, they do give an insane amount of tech points though. So... Is it a good idea to take them, take all of them down? All of them down? Or is there like a more cost-effective method? Okay, what is this? I feel like if I don't interact with them, I should be fine. But what if they give an insane amount of tech points which I think I might need? I think it's a little uh, conundrum that like plagues me every time I play this. Full ether. And a barrier. Oh, will you just like become sentient? Ah, there we go. The last time I saw you, you were like sometime in the future. What's the actually accuracy being so low now? The blizzard didn't do anything to you. Oh. Oh, it confuses you. Oh gosh. I'm gonna snap you out of it. So I think I kind of like like how there's a lot of stuff. Uh, there is to be had around here. Oh hey friends. I still don't get what those things are. Are they really water elements? Can these damages be absorbed by the blue male? I really want to know. Alright, what do you have here? One shield. One shelter. Alright. What do you have here? Friends? Three friends. Uh, there we go. The one HP move. Something that I'm really not looking forward to because, oh gosh. Mm. But thank you. Mouse recovery ability is so insane. Okay. 
Aura, Aura. I think we should refine on MP. What is... Okay, so is there... Is that a stuff that uh, I should be aware of? It's a really suspiciously placed save point. Okay, we got a time hat. What does a time hat do? Prevent stop and slow. Let's do this. And a full ether. And a magic type. Okay, so before we move forward, I think I'll head back to the save point, do a little saving, and see what we have after that. Save 58. Let's do this. Let's do this. What is this? The guru of life is trapped inside here. And Gigagaya. What is this? What is this madness? Oh, we can get the arms off. So there is some fire damage thing. Where is my falcon head? Uh, oh gosh. I will definitely need some group healing from now on. Yikes.
No. Uh, fucking hit this. Yeah. Because the arms are like on one line and then the hit is on another line. Um, so what are the types they use us? Uh, the hands use fire and water types. What other types do they have? Shadow, right? Okay. So we'll get something that absorbs fire hits. We'll Wait, what does Dark Mail do? Magic Defense plus 5. Uh, you got a compromise. Cuts fire by 50. <laughs> um, that's a bit. That's the least ideal thing, but uh, it works, I guess. Okay. So. I just need to get the tempo up. I think what I'll do here is... Maul and Isla. I just need to strategize who to get healing on first. Hearing magic ring. You know what, screw this. I think we can do this. So the strategy is Falcon hit arms, then hit. I see. Falcon hit arms. Now heal you. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I see what you mean now. Come on, arms. Like, die. There we go. Right? Yeah. Can these arms, like, regenerate? Please don't let the arms regenerate. Because I'll be really sad if it if it uh, if they do. Wait. 
I forgot that Isla was low. <laughs> Oh. Okay. I'll wait for the arms then. Then I'll heal up. Falcon hit. There we go. You know what? Ether. Oh my... That's not what I was supposed to do. Ah. Oh. That was not what I was supposed to do. Okay, that's the first hit. Oh. I wonder if this will work. So we've got four hits on them. Hit either on Chrono. Where's the cursor? There we go. I think everyone should be fine. Yeah, they should be fine. Let's get one hit done. When Mal charges up, I'll just wait for her for the arms to regenerate and deal the first damage. I'll just wait for a shadow to recover uh I last one. Yeah, there we go. It's like temporary, temporary rage fight. No uh, wait. Let's just get the MP up. So no. Okay. I think I th I think we got a tempo. We've got a hit tempo. Okay, no notification on the arm restoration yet. I should be expecting it soon. Or not. Oh, there we go. I feel like 99% of these fights are like maintaining tempo. Between recovery and damage. I think I understand like how this works now. Alright, uh, so where's the guru? Malkio? Yo is the lad from 12,000 BC. 
I still have no idea like how old this guy is. <laughs> All right. Run, man. Run. The chain can we hold it up for like so long? Alright. Or down. Up, down? Oh, wait. down. No, up. Wait. Down. Up. Can we hold it up for so long? Okay, so what do you have for us? Lavo sleeps underground. Alright. If the Mammon machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. Must hurry before it's too late. Oh, the Shala is here. Hi, Shala. Thank you for releasing us from that thing back then. So who is under Lavos's control, other than like the Queen and all? Shala sounds like a nice dude. You know. Screw that Mammon machine. We can wreck it. I don't really care about it. Let's do this. Alright. Oh, Shala is a... Uh, oh. Oops. Okay, so Shala is a princess of the then queen's thing. Interesting. All right, so what do you have for us? So Come on, you got you had a knife dude back in I've no idea how long ago. I'm sure you got you got some like nice uh, weapons for us. Ah oh, yes, the dreamstone. Yeah, so I was expecting the mountain of woe to like float up like it did for like uh the sky the sky things. So I'm just a bit confused about how it just came crumbling down onto the ground. If it's like held, if it's tied down like a balloon. Physics. Wait. Hold on a sec. I need to. Wait. Uh, okay, let's just go to go to the inn. No, that's not the inn. Where is the inn? There we go. And then... Save. What lies beyond? You know, I think throughout this gameplay, what I realize is uh, I have been underusing Luca a lot. Luca and Robo, I just don't see any use for Robo. Luca has like some nice fire fire damage, but like. I also find Mal the most useful because of all the recovery that she's capable of. So yeah. Um K 
team. How do I get to that place? Is it this one? No. We have, I think our next place is like up in the sky again. Yeah. We have to use the skyway. Uh, do you have any more business left in Enhasa? I did the secret rooms last uh, stream, so I think that's that. Wait, did I? I think I did. Win. Uh, I think it's water, wind, fire. Oh, so we're like having the same team then. Okay, that's nice. It's... It's like, I can just, I can just imagine like... Uh... Chrono doing, dealing the most damage because of, you know, main character syndrome. Mao with the medic. Isla with like, she's a tank I, I believe. Okay, so we've got a secret room in Enhasa done. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure we got all of our stuff uh, complete before we attempt the next part of our adventure. I still have no idea how these things, these teleporters work. Okay, Kaya. Okay, so where's she, where are your books? What is this book? Water. Wind. Fire. Alright. So... Okay, we've got the secret rooms in both places. In both places. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that uh, I got what I need before heading up there. So, Zoo Palace. Yeah, figured. <laughs> okay, so I told her to like plant the stuff uh, in the last stream. Scratch. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, that's all. F that's all we had to have to uh, did and have to do now next part is oh it was moved to the ocean palace okay
Okay, I think I'll go for the center room. Is that is that it? Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh yeah, how do I use charm? Do I kiss or something like that? Tech. Kiss. Oh, charm. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's the only annoying part in this counter attack. You know what? Let's do. Let's see. Let's see how much Falcon Hit will do. 824 Cool Let's recover all of you guys health up, you know And again. I'll wait for a Falcon hit execution. And eight forty. I think everyone should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna stick in a mid tonic just to make sure. Falcon hit. I think this is our fall Falcon hit. There's not there's not a lot of damage. Alright. Dalton. Jeez, get good. <sighs> it's on the ground, right? It's not a leaf, I was just like the ocean palace is in the ocean, you can't just walk there. Yeah, um, <laughs> you probably have to swim, and unlike Hecron's cave, you probably don't have access to it just like that, you know, to a whirlpool or anything. Okay, what is... Hmm. 
this. Oh. Okay, so this is the gateway to Ocean Palace. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, we did a lot of stuff today. Oh. Honestly, I kind of like the... the... the architecture of the uh, Ocean Palace. Really quite digging the 16-bit style. And I think this is a really nice time to like leave where things are today, huh? Oh, never mind, we've got all, all safe states, it's alright. Yeah. So I think that puts us about 14 and some bits of hours in. We did a lot of stuff today, a lot of side questing for important stuff. Uh, moved on with the main story quite a bit. Oh, wow, that was like a lot of time periods that we went through. I think it was like all of them. Yes. So which time period are we, are we going to? Yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, from what it seems, uh, we are getting towards the really end stage of the game right now. Um, so there could be like, I don't know, a couple more streams on this. So maybe we will finish the game. Well, get we get the really awesome ending uh no not really the awesome ending you know finish the main storyline uh next weekend and if and if you feel like it any no it's more like if you feel like it we could explore some of the post game content on chrono trigger i heard there's some and yeah uh so yeah that's like I think that would be like a nine part, nine to ten part series on Chrono Trigger. It's really fun. <laughs> I'm so glad to like actually share this experience with y'all. And yes, uh, I don't think the 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 read vest and read mail thing was a screw up. So yeah, I don't think I screwed up as as badly as uh, I would have thought. Um, if you want to know like the part where I exactly screw up, I think you can check out part five uh, on last Sunday stream. I messed up quite badly on that one, so yeah. Anyway, um, next stream probably on Saturday afternoon. I think about the same time as well, about four, four ish p.m. Central European time. Or alternatively, just you know, follow me and kind of, kind of see when I stream, because I've had like a lot of feedback that uh, I'm heavily inconsistent with when I stream. But among the inconsistencies, the consistency is I now stream mainly on weekends. So yeah, that's gonna do it from me today. Uh, Definitely stream replays, they'll all be on YouTube or uh, sometime. Sometime. <laughs> and yeah, uh, yeah, take care. I've got dinner to make and I'll see you around. Thank you.